Hi Libra, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, your current love situation. We're going to see what energy comes through for you. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy uh, moving forward and I'll dive a, a bit deeper uh, into your person. So with that, let's get started with your reading. Two cards already dropped out here. Wow. You got express your love. Somebody is definitely interested in, in you, uh, Libra. This could be somebody who has romantic feelings for you, somebody who is interested in you. You also have here past life relationships. So this could be a past life soulmate. Some of you, it could be somebody here that you know, um, I'm going to say here, or somebody uh, from your past. We'll see when we pull the tarot. And then you also have here engagement. Interesting. This could be somebody seriously thinking about a commitment with you or taking things to the next level or seeing the potential of um, a partnership, something more committed with you. Uh, so with that, let's uh, see what the tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Libra? Please share with Libra what they need to know. Okay, let's see what comes through. Got strong Scorpio energy, also picking up Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The devil, Capricorn energy. Wow, we got three queens here. Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. Okay, what is going on here, <laughs> Libra? So Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess uh, could be a Cancerian or a Pisces here. Seven of Wands and the Devil. It feels like something ended here, like almost two, like there was a portrayal here with the three of swords. Now this could tell me this is somebody in your past, maybe somebody you still have feelings for and they still have feelings for you. Very interesting. Wow, what is going on? We have uh, the queen of pentacles and we also have here the high priestess. The queen of pentacles definitely shows me that you know your worth here. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the King of Pentacles. Somebody's thinking about you. But there's something here with this High Priestess. That could tell me your intuition knows that somebody here still has feelings for you, still has love for you. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see why the High Priestess is here. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Some of you could actually feel like there is some sort of third party situation going on here. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Maybe you're feeling confused. Because there's somebody here I see you have feelings for. You have some history with this person. Maybe somebody here like you're not seeing um, them being real committed to you or you're not seeing this person taking things to the next level. Because it does feel like with the devil here in the seven of wands, something could be blocking this connection. Are you in some sort of triangle situation, Libra? Or do you have a suspicion about a situation? Let me know in the comments what's going on. But that's what I kind of feel I'm picking up here, okay? This could be unknown to you. This could be some sort of secret. Let's clarify. You have the seven of wands and the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Knight of Swords. Okay, is this somebody who comes around, but they don't stay long? That's that energy. Interesting. Look at that. Page of Wands. Okay, that tells me you're going to get communication from this person. 
okay? But I'm going to tell you, I feel with this double energy, there's something this person's being secretive about something they're trying to hide from you. Now, like I said, it could be a third party situation. You do have the emperor here on the bottom of the deck. I'm just gonna say, did somebody uh, somebody married here? Tell me more about the seven of wands. Tell me more about the seven of wands. Got the nine of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Somebody here is blocking your happiness. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to say, or it's just this person's behavior is what I'm getting. But I really feel like there's a secret here about a third person. It doesn't have to be another lover. Look at that. I said third person, five of swords is my third party card. So this could be somebody that you felt played games with you, or I'm going to say they involved you in a third party. Let's see here. You have uh, the death rebirth card here, and you also have here the queen of cups. So let's clarify that death rebirth card. Strong Scorpio energy. Some of you dealing with a cancer and a, or a Pisces as well. Tell me more about the death rebirth card. Got the chariot again, Cancerian energy and the four of pentacles. This, this feels like this is a situation you're not giving to anymore. And I feel what's happening here is this is somebody who is coming towards you with communication. They don't want to let you go. They don't want you to move on. I'm going to say too, if you're trying to move on from this person, you detach from this person. This person's going to try and distract you, okay? And it almost feels like this this is somebody who is doing something they know they're not supposed to be doing it type of energy. Like it's like I did it, but I knew I wasn't supposed to. And they're trying to keep it secret from you. But I feel like with this Queen of Cups, you've pulled back your energy. But I feel like you've got somebody here from your past returning Nine of Wands tells me they're not going to give up here. Okay, this is a card of perseverance. Now, it is the Wounded Warrior. So it could be that a situation, some other situation may have ended. I'm going to say with this person. And that's why they're coming towards you. Let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Tell me more. See, we got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Now, the Queens here uh, tells me there is some action being taken, but it also tells me you've been very giving to this person, and there could be more than one person involved here. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. Wow, we got Judgment and the Six of Wands. Look at that. Yeah, someone is definitely very strongly here. Someone from your past is is I feel I don't see six of cups here but I feel like this is somebody who is missing you wanting your attention somebody who's going to come towards you that knight of swords somebody who's going to give you a lot of attention is what I feel the lovers Gemini energy tells me there's going to be an opportunity again for you and this person okay a past I definitely pick up a strong past life soulmate connection with this person Someone who's going to try and reunite or resurrect this connection with you again. The only thing I would say here, be cautious. The only thing is the devil, okay? I don't, you know, this could be a pattern with this person. You know, that they come around, but they don't stick around long. We'll see in the extended, you know, what their intentions are and the actions and, you know, all of that. But tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Okay, six of pentacles. Yeah, look at, see, there's something they're hiding from you. I feel like this person is giving to another situation, to another person here. Yep, look at that. Five of wands, Libra. Has this person been grub, breadcrumbing you? Let me know in the comments. Tell me more about this three of swords energy. Tell me more about this three of swords energy. Three of Cups. See, you keep, we keep getting energy here of more than one person involved here. Five, oh, they have regrets. 
they have regrets here. Three of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This is someone I feel like you may already know that there's some sort of third party situation going on. Strong Pisces energy here. There's still something unknown here that you do not know about this situation. That's what the moon is showing me. Either that or this is somebody, like I said in the beginning, that this may be somebody who couldn't, uh, you know, with this Knight of Swords energy, somebody who never really gave you any clarity around where the connection, the relationship was going. Never stuck around. Strong uh, Leo energy got the strength card. Page of Swords. This is someone coming back around wanting to fix things between the two of you. I'm going to pull some Kipper cards. What else does Libra need to know about this situation? Hmm. Yeah. So this is somebody who wasn't being honest with you. They're coming back around to change things. You got the change card. Yeah, the unexpected. This is what you're not expecting. Because I feel like this person still has romantic feelings for you. And this is someone they, like, again, keep going back to this devil energy. They did something and they knew they shouldn't have done it. They had a secret or they kept a secret or they involved you in a third party situation. What else does Libra need to know? Yeah, see, look at high honor. See, they're thinking about what they did. High honor and thoughts of you. This is someone who knows that they needed to be honest with you. And I feel like this person wasn't. Now, it could tell me that this person is, wants to change things. They want to come to you in truth. Now, I'm going to say it doesn't necessarily mean that they were with the third party. For some of you, it just could be that this person you know, didn't make a whole lot of effort. Maybe they wouldn't let you get close to them. This could be somebody, you know, wanting now to open up. Uh, you do have main person here. So I do feel like this is somebody who sees you as important to them in some sort of way in their life. It's in love because this, this person's holding a love card. I mean, a love card, a rose, a great fortune. So they want things to turn in their favor here. They want things to change. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody who went through some sort of karma. Because remember I said some of you that this could be somebody where a situation that they were giving to ended. And this could be somebody who went through some sort of karma or karmic situation. Could be somebody from their past. And maybe realized here they didn't make the right choice. And now they're thinking about it. They're thinking about you. They may be thinking about like you and how, um, you know, honest you are or how fair you are getting that energy as well. Let's see how they see you and how you see them. Let's start with you. How do you see this person right now? Okay. So you may be uh, feeling angry with this person. Um, it can be angry. It can be like this person needed to give you respect in order to heal things. So whatever this person did, right, especially with that devil energy, you may have felt this person didn't respect you. You may also see this person as somebody who has ego or pride or likes to control or be the dominant person in the connection of the relationship. Tell me how this person sees you. Okay, you've got here frozen heart. Wow, so this may be um, a connection where you may have been the more empathetic person or the giving person. So this is someone who may uh, kind of be detached emotionally and you warm this person's heart. You may have been the only person that believed in this person. That can be that energy as well. But it also uh, can be like they're hoping that you're going to let down your guard with them. Let's see what the mutual energy. Yeah, mutual energy is swept away. So it does feel like this could be uh, a situation with you and this person where things happened pretty quickly between the two of you. 
This can be kind of the charmer energy, but just really getting caught up in the romance of things. But I'm also feeling like something about the truth. You know, like there hasn't really been any conversations about what has happened here. There's a bit of mystery secrets. You know, something I feel with the moon card here is going to be revealed. Um, or you may find out about it. But so Libra, I'm going to take it to the extended. Uh, we're going to look at the next four weeks energy. See, right, if you hear for this person in the next four weeks, then we're going to dive deeper into your person. We're going to see how this plays out. Uh, link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.